And outside of Africa, Americans are voting in one of the most divisive presidential polls in decades, pitting incumbent Republican Donald Trump against Democrat Joe Biden. Polls have opened in the east of the country after a long campaign amid the COVID-19 pandemic. More than 100 million people have already cast their ballots in early voting, putting the country on course for its highest turnout in a century. Both rivals spent the final hours of the race rallying in key swing states. Well, I, I voted for Biden this year. I usually um, consider myself more conservative, but I, I think this time around, I've definitely had to take a step back and look at the candidates each individually um, versus just voting for the party that I normally do. So this year, I think, was different for many people in that way, at least people that I've talked about it with. I, I voted for Trump, um, and I didn't vote for Trump last time, but I felt cornered into it this time because of you know, the way our nation is right now, and the Democrats wouldn't take a stance on not packing the Supreme Court and adding more justices, and they talked about adding you know, more states and things, and so it forced my hand where I didn't vote for him last time. I voted for Donald Trump because I like the policies that he's doing. I am especially very proud of the 400 miles of wall that he has built along the southern border and how it has stemmed the flow of uh, human trafficking and narcotics um, that have been killing our people. Uh, yeah, so I voted for Biden. Um, I don't know, kind of lesser two evils for me. Um, I don't know, Trump was seems like he doesn't really care as much in office and doesn't necessarily care about being president, but more just like having the title. The president voted for Biden and Kamala Harris um, because I think that that's just the best option for our country. I think that the people in our country deserve someone who is going to respect them more than the other candidate, at least. To me, the most important is is issues are health care and a true stable economy, not an illusion of a stable economy. I'm an accountant. And so I understand the difference between real economic growth and pretend economic growth. It is very difficult to say economically we've grown when our deficit is higher than it has ever been. Quite diverse opinions there. Right, to bring us up to speed with the situation now in America, we have joining us Monica Omorodion. Thank you for joining us, Monica. Good night. Good night. Hi, how are you? Yeah. I am well. How are you holding up there? We're surviving. This is the, the most exciting ex election yet. So right. uh, I can't wait to see what, how it turns out. All right. Now, uh, COVID-19 has almost overshadowed the election campaign. What has uh, voters' turnout been like where you are? I mean, it's fine. I mean, I think the, the story about the COVID is scaring everybody not to go out and vote. But a lot of people did vote um, by mail. And um, some of us uh, voted in person. I personally just voted this morning and uh, the line was fine. It wasn't as uh, crowded. As like in the cities, I don't live in a city, so it's a little bit different. All right, there are also reports, Monica, of some businesses brazing up for post-election violence. Tell us more about that. Uh, this is the worst year that I've ever seen. Uh, both parties hate each other so much. You know, some people want uh, Trump to win, some wants Biden. But because, like I said, of the way the election is conducted this time, normally in a typical election, we know who wins at the end of this, you know, at the end of tonight. But right now, there are mailing votes. There are people, you know, walking in. So it's, it's there's trouble with everyone. And you guys need to pray for America because right now, nobody knows what's going to happen. Hmm. Nobody knows what's going to happen. And a lot of people, mostly the um, Black Black Lives Matter, as the Tifa and the other people, have been destroying uh, the country because, you know, they're, they're feeling that they've been neglected for a lot of different reasons. So there's been a lot of uh, destruction of properties, destruction of... Uh, uh, businesses and so that's why they're boarding up people don't know what will happen but we're praying that um, everything comes down and uh, whoever wins wins you know yeah whoever wins wins indeed nobody knows what will happen happen now what are the indices that may swing the win in favor of the current president and also what do you think may help former vice president win we don't know who's going to be the winner but what are your thoughts from my own perspective, I'm a business owner. I own an insurance company, and um, um, the economy has been so good for people like me. 
uh, until COVID came. So I personally think uh, the president did uh, has been doing a very fantastic job helping the economy and making us feel more proud, you know, but some people would think differently. So it, it depends on the perspective of who you're talking to. When it comes to me, I liked what I, I've been, you know, given. And um, some people don't like it. Some people feel like they 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 don't like the president. Everybody has their own. That's why this is a free country. Everybody has their own reasons why they're voting for the other person. I personally am leaning on the current president, and I hope that he wins. But if he doesn't win, I'll support the president that wins. Mm -hmm. What are you most hopeful for uh, during this time in America, even as you continue voting and wait for who becomes the next president of America? Peace. And I want the economy to keep going up because things that there was a lot of confidence, a lot of black businesses have been, I mean, so many businesses have been, you know, forming, you know, homeowners, people are buying properties. The, the confidence has been so good, if not for COVID. So I pray when COVID eventually goes away, I hope it goes away, when it goes away, that we get back to our normal lives and just uh, keep, um, keep go, uh, doing well, keep doing well, because a lot of people are doing well. Um, um, uh, minimum wage has gone up. A lot of people, there's a lot of jobs and it's hard to find employees. And um, hopefully things just keep getting better when COVID goes away because that's the number one hindrance that's holding America right now, COVID. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.